We're all familiar with prosthetic limbs. If you're not, please see seasons one through five of this show, Superhuman from Freethink. It's like wall-to-wall -wall prosthetics. Now, we're all familiar with prosthetic limbs. But what about prosthetic skin? It's amazing what prosthetic technology has come to in the past you know, several decades. A lot of progress has been made on how you control the limb, but now we want to be able to feel something with it. This is the e-dermis, a prototype for a technology to give users a sense of touch for their prosthetic devices. This is Dr. Luke Osborne. He's a researcher at Johns Hopkins University, and for the last several years, he's been developing the e-dermis, a flexible sensor that can, for some prosthetic users, provide a sense of touch. I think it's really interesting to take a step back and think about how important touch is to our everyday lives. We've gotten really good as humans at being able to quickly identify things just based on what they feel like. And unfortunately, there aren't prosthetic limbs on the market that provide sensory feedback to an amputee. They don't get information back about what it is they're touching unless they're looking at the, the thing that they're grabbing. Dr. Osborne wants to tap into a phenomenon nearly 80% of amputees experience, phantom limb syndrome. Phantom limb sensation is one where you've lost a limb or part of your limb, but you can still feel it. The region of the brain that um, represents the limb is still there and is still working to some extent. So let's see if we can tap into that to get them to feel something that maybe they haven't felt for 20 years. Dr. Osborne started by developing a flexible sensor that could mimic the sensory qualities of human skin. If you were to look at a little cross section of your skin and, and see all the different receptors, you would notice that they're not all in one layer. They're offset and some are higher up in the skin than others. So we built the e-dermis to actually mimic that. The top layer represents what we're calling the nociceptive layer. When it experiences something painful, it's gonna send you some information back. So the nociceptor gives your body information about pain. Further down in your skin, you have mechanoreceptors. Mechanoreceptors tell you information about how hard you're pressing. So what we were really interested in is, okay, what do we need to do to give somebody the ability to feel something again? And that can greatly influence yeah. something like this. This is Andrew Rubin. 15 years ago, an injury left his hand and foot without any sensation or mobility. So a few years ago, he had them therapeutically amputated. Before I had my prosthetic, I had a hand that was already insensate it was paralyzed, so I couldn't feel my hand. So I'd bang it around, it would be traumatized, I'd wound it, not even know. And eventually that's why I decided, well, well, I'll get a hand that has function. To help Andrew regain a sense of touch, Luke has to first map the nerves in Andrew's arms so they can send signals from the e-dermis to Andrew's brain. I'm going to target your thumb, which mm -hmm. is right here, and we're not gonna move it, we're just gonna put the electrode right here on the tip. After an amputation, sensory nerves that go through your arm up into your brain generally are still there. And so what we're trying to do is find where they are. Going to light up red when the stimulation is on. Okay. Yes. No. It's hard to explain what the feeling is like. There's this, I guess, a visual, the, re the visualization that goes on. You reimagine what you had what wasn't there before. Right there was the, okay. we painted that green and that was the thumb. Right, so would you say like this? It goes to, it, yes. Look, kind of as you move the probe, right? Yeah. During these experiments, it's not an experience of loss that I experience, but this experience of presence. Oh, that's where my thumb is. It's filled with possibility. Is that you volunteer? This is me. Nice. Strength is, yeah. there was one moment we found today where it wasn't one finger, two fingers, it was the whole hand. And I said, well, this is like I've stuck my hand in water for the first time.
The edermis itself is still being heavily researched both at Johns Hopkins University and the Applied Physics Lab. You can imagine incorporating something like temperature. When we touch an object, we also know how hot or cold it is. So there are other aspects to touch that we haven't addressed yet that would be really interesting to see how those all play together. The sensory experience, what's interesting to me is the way it gives me new abilities. I no longer feel disabled. When we're able to take one of the sensors we built, put it on a prosthetic hand, and provide some sensory feedback to an amputee, and they say, wow, you know, I haven't felt that in numbers of years. Those never get old. <laughs> we tend to think of our skin as what separates us from the world, but it's also what connects us to it. This research holds the promise of allowing prosthetics users that feeling of connection that so many of us take for granted. If you like this video, I hope you will like and subscribe to us on YouTube. Uh, we make a lot of great videos. We're always looking for cool stories about people who are out there thinking differently and changing the world. And we love to share them with you.